In the heart of the city, tucked away on a narrow cobblestone street, there's a bookstore unlike any other. From the outside, it appears ordinary. Dusty windows, a faded sign, and shelves crammed with old, forgotten books. But step inside, and you'll feel it instantly. The air is thick with the weight of untold stories. The kind that seem to whisper to you as you pass by. The bookstore is alive, a place where the boundary between reality and fiction blurs, where every book has a story to tell, and some of those stories are more dangerous than others. Mrs. Wimsey's bookshop had been a fixture in the city for as long as anyone could remember. The shop was a labyrinth of narrow aisles, towering bookshelves, and dusty volumes that seemed to have been forgotten by time itself. But it wasn't just the books that made the store special. It was the feeling that came over you the moment you stepped inside, a sense of being watched, of being surrounded by something ancient and powerful. One rainy evening, a young boy named Tom, seeking shelter from a storm, stumbled into the shop. The moment he crossed the threshold, he felt a strange sensation, as if the very air in the shop was alive, pulsing with a quiet energy. The bell above the door chimed, but instead of a cheerful ring, it sounded low and ominous, sending a shiver down his spine. Mrs. Whimsey, the shop's elderly owner, appeared from behind a bookshelf, her eyes twinkling with a knowing gleam. She was a peculiar woman, with wild gray hair and clothes that seemed to belong to another era. She greeted Tom with a smile that didn't quite reach her eyes and led him deeper into the shop, past shelves filled with books that hummed with an eerie vibrancy. As they walked, Tom couldn't shake the feeling that the books were watching him. Their spines turned slightly as if to follow his movements. He could hear faint whispers, just on the edge of his hearing, and the flickering candlelight cast long, distorted shadows that danced along the walls. Mrs. Whimsey stopped in front of an ancient, leather-bound tome and handed it to Tom. This one, she said, her voice barely above a whisper, has been waiting for you. Tom took the book, its cover cool to the touch, despite the warmth of the room. The title was embossed in gold, but the letters were faded and worn. He opened it, and as he did, a chill ran through the room. The pages were filled with dense, old-fashioned script, but what caught Tom's eye was the illustration on the first page, a beautiful yet haunting garden bathed in the moonlight, with twisted trees and a dark figure standing among them. Mrs. Whimsey watched him intently as he read, her expression unreadable. This is no ordinary book, she murmured. It's a doorway, a gateway to a world where stories come to life. But be warned, not all stories are meant to be told. Tom, intrigued and unnerved, continued reading. As he did, the world around him began to shift. The bookstore faded, replaced by the garden from the book. The air was thick with the scent of night bloom and flowers and something darker, more sinister. The figure in the garden turned, revealing a face twisted in anguish, eyes that bore into Tom's soul. The garden was not just a setting. It was a place, real and alive, and Tom had been pulled into it. He tried to close the book, but his hands wouldn't obey. The shadows in the garden began to move, creeping closer, whispering his name. He felt a presence behind him, cold breath on his neck, and when he turned, there was nothing but darkness. Mrs. Whimsey's voice echoed in his mind, growing fainter with each word. Some stories should remain unread. In a final act of desperation, Tom tore his gaze away from the book and flung it to the ground. The connection broke, and he found himself back in the bookstore, gasping for breath, his heart pounding in his chest. The book lay closed at his feet, but the whispers still lingered in the air, a reminder of the world he had almost been trapped in. Mrs. Whimsey bent down and picked up the book, her eyes gleaming with an eerie satisfaction. You've seen what lies beyond the pages, she said softly, but remember, the story truly never ends. It's always waiting, just beyond the next page, for someone curious enough to seek it out. Tom fled the bookstore, the rain drenching him as he ran through the streets, the whispers from the book still echoing in his mind. He never returned to Mrs. Whimsey's shop, but he knew that the book was still there, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to open its pages and become part of its story. 
and in the heart of the city, down a narrow, cobblestone street, Mrs. Whimsy's bookshop remains. The books still whisper, the shadows still dance, and the stories, they're always waiting.